Hey everybody, today we're going to be looking at something a little different. We're going to be looking at Neva, which is an ad-free search engine. It's founded by one of Google's former employees who was in charge of their advertising department. Now it launched last year in the United States, but now it's starting to launch over in Europe. And while it does have a formal European hub set up, right now they're steering the ship from the U.S. West Coast. But last week, Neva switched on the proverbial lights in the UK, France, and Germany. Europe is perhaps an obvious first step for Neva's inaugural expansion plans, owing to a slew of antitrust complaints currently faced by the mighty incumbent Google. Now, if we scroll down here a little bit, we're going to look at the Neva co-founder, whose name is Sridhar Ramaswamy. And now we got to backtrack just a little bit. Ramaswamy worked his way through Google's engineering ranks over a 15-year period, he emerged as the senior vice president and the driving force behind Google's 100 billion plus ads and commerce business. Now that's a lot of money. Now Neva has had two rounds of funding, which was involved with Sequoia Capital. They've raised a little more than $80 million the last time they did it. And they want to get this set up as a subscription based search. Now, having said that, what this actually means is you'll be paying a monthly or yearly fee to use a full featured version of the search engine. Now you can use it right now, but some of the features don't work so well. And we'll go over those in just a second, but it is a very impressive search engine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back out of here. We're gonna go over to Neva. Now, if you go to Neva.com, it just basically tells you right here, there's no tracking, there's no bias, and it says search free from corporate influence. And then you can go down here and it says more control. You can prioritize the news sources and retailers you trust and love and filter out the noise. If you want to see stuff from retailers, you can add it in there. If you don't, you can turn it off. That's all up to you. Basically, it gives you control of everything within the search engine. You can see information from trusted sources you choose and relevant discussion from forums. And then Neva does not track your personal information and protects you from trackers and safeguards your data. And then they show a blind test that 9 out of 10 people preferred Neva to Google, which we'll do a test here in a little bit to see if what they're showing here is actually right. And then it'll be available on all devices. You can add it to Firefox, you can add it to other web browsers, and you can also get it on your Android or iPhone. And then it has a bunch of questions down here. How does Neva make money? You can click on that and it goes right across here and tells you that Neva is 100% ad free and never sells or shares members data. Neva's free basic membership is completely free and full featured, allowing members to search both the web and connected personal accounts like Gmail or Dropbox. Now these are subject to certain usage limits. That's what the free gets you. And then down here, you can ask all these questions. Why should I create an account? You can get Neva for Firefox, and then you can go back up here. Now, what I want to do right here is if you click on Get It for Firefox, it takes you directly to the browser. All right, so let's go back. And then we scroll down here, and it says people that preferred it over Google, and they did a test question. What to do in a car accident? So let's put it to the test. We're going to zip on over to Neva, which is right here. What to do in a car accident. And see what it brings up. It says right here, a step-by-step -step guide. And you can see there's Allstate, there's App or Forbes. But there's no ads. So let's go ask the same question in Google. All right, what to do in a car accident. And right off the bat, you get one, two, three, four. You get four ads right off the bat. So that example is pretty accurate. Injury.com, hurt in a car, lawsuit info center, first injury help. And I hate that, especially, you know, it doesn't bother me as bad on a computer-based browser as opposed to when you do it on a phone, because on a phone, these ads seem to space out quite a bit, and you've got to scroll a half page, maybe sometimes a page, before you can even get to relevant information. So let's go back to Neva, and I want to put in Neva cost. 
Let's pull that up. Free, basic, and Neva premium. Let's go ahead and open that up. And right down here, free access to Neva's ad free private search and personalized feature. And then an unlimited version with additional features and exclusive benefits at a low monthly cost. And it kind of goes through that. What I'm looking for is the actual price list. So let's go back. And we are back here. Let's go up here and click on plans. If it would have been a snake, it would have bit me. So you can get premium for maximum privacy. So let's see what comes with it. Private search and tracker blocking is automatic with the free plan. Unlimited ad-free searches is limited. Unlimited search across personal accounts is limited. Early access to new features you do not get. Premium password manager plus VPN you don't get. And then monthly price is free. Now, if you go to the premium annual plan, which is only $4.17 a month, you're looking at private search plus tracker blocking, unlimited ad-free searches, unlimited searches across personal accounts, early access to new features, premium password manager. So you get that. And if you paid for it for the entire year, you'd be at $49.99 for the year. But if you just wanted to go by month by month and get billed monthly, it's $5.99 a month. Now, quite honestly, if this does perform the way it states it's going to perform, and we can definitely go into all underlying parts of it and verify that it isn't tracking us, I think it's a great deal. I think it's definitely worth $4.17 a month not to have to deal with ads, not to have to deal with the invasion of your privacy, and not have to worry about them sharing your data when you don't want them to. So that's my personal opinion. Like I said, this is just a quick look. You've got a lot of different ones out there. You've got DuckDuckGo, which has come under fire here recently because of some of the information I do believe they were sharing, I believe, with Microsoft. But they've come out and supposedly fixed all that. But who knows? Really, we can't really track it and tell. But I know that this right here, this project, Neva has got a lot of money backing it. It's got a professional that used to be with Google that is the one behind it and pushing it to become successful. And if I can have an experience where I can go online and do everything that I need to do without being tracked, without my information being stolen, and most importantly, without tons of ads coming up in my face, it just might be worth $4 a month. Heck, I pay more than that for, for cloud storage a month. So this is just me asking you all, what would you do? Is this something you might be interested in? Let me know in the comments below. Is this a good idea? Is it a bad idea? Share your thoughts. I love hearing feedback from y'all. Do me a big favor before you leave today. Please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. doesn't cost anything. And if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like the channel and enjoy the videos that we are producing, you can support us by becoming a member to the channel, buying us a cup of coffee, throwing us a donation on PayPal, or zip on over to Patreon and become a patron to the channel. Those links will be in the description below. And as always, thank you for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.